so I'm going to share with you three tips when it comes to taking product images for Instagram. I'm back. My phone storage was totally full and my phone just said, you know what, no more. Anyway, let's jump right back to where we were. Number one, background. Your background wants to pop, make your product pop out, not bring it in so you can't tell the background from the product, okay? Number two is about composition. Think about where you're going to place your product in the frame of the photograph. Instead of having five different images which shows the front, the back, the side and some little detail, use the Instagram feature where you can have multiple images on one post and use each one for a different part of your product. What you're actually doing there is helping the customer decide even better because you're providing all the angles for your product in separate images. Number three is focus. Please, if you forget anything else from this video, remember focus. Don't upload an image to Instagram if it's not in focus. There's no point. You want your image to pop. You want in your image to be so crystal clear that when they zoom in to see the detail, to see a little aspect of your product, they're actually seeing that. Focus is key. Just take the time and take multiple pictures, which brings me on to number four. Multiple pictures is also key, it helps you get focus, which means you might take 15 and find out only five of them are in focus. That means you've still have, you've got enough images to still share on Instagram and you don't have to take images again. Then if you take one image or even two images and you find out they're not in focus and you go, oh, I've got to go and take them again. And then you have to go and do more work. We want you to be doing work once and once only. So taking 15 images and picking out the best ones is better than taking two images and having to go back to set up all your lighting, your camera and everything else to take the pictures again because you know you're not gonna really want to. And I can understand why people just put up the images out of focus because it's like, oh, okay, let me just, just get it up there. But no, I want you to take multiple images and by doing that, it will actually help you to work once and really put your images, put your product at the best possible way it can be while showing itself off to your potential customers. So there we have four things that you need to really think about before you upload your images to Instagram and present them to the world. So that's the four, well, three tips, but I'll give you a little bonus one. So only the people who watch this video will get the bonus one. How cool is that? So that's it. So I hope you add value from this. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. And until next time, I'm Janet Walker. Be passionate, be focused and be blessed.